Okay, hey everybody, I'm Yellow Shy, and welcome back to my more, more of the blind and absolutely ridiculous run of Chrono Trigger. Uh, last time we got into the factory, we met this robo guy, and he's sort of helping us out. How am I doing for health? I think. Oops. I uh, could use a, a bit of touch ups. I might use the tonics for that. Um, just a touch up on that. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Uh, and I was just curious to look at uh, some of his equipment. Tin arm, like, I don't know any of this stuff. Like, obviously, that's not, that's gonna lower. He's got a, quite a bit of defense. Yeah, he's probably our best guy, and he's only level 10. Uh, has, oh, he's got some lower defense, I, I guess. Um. I don't know, it's just kind of curious looking at all the stuff, but anyways, uh, no big deal, let's go, we got some bugs here to fight, and these guys aren't bad at all, so that's it's nice, because some of those enemies are getting quite tough, uh, it's nice to see some that aren't going to be so bad, these guys just do like 10 damage, or 7, yeah, okay, that, that's no big deal at all, well, if they're fast though, they're persistent, that's for sure. I guess that adds up, right? Three times seven is twenty-one. That's the same as if one enemy did twenty-one damage or something. So, uh, but no big deal. These like these guys don't even. These aren't even a threat. Like, my goodness. Oh, what's this one do? Oh, I'm nervous now. You're, I'm glad it missed. And now they look like they're trying to run away, or they're gonna shoot some ass or some other butts. I I don't know. Um. But that, that, that's that got them down. That looked like it only said it did 8 damage. I'm sure it was 81, but... Uh, we got a heal, and Marl leveled up. How happy is that? We got some acid. Ooh, this is a creepy, scary-looking factory. It might be the one Homer Simpson works at. I don't I don't, don't know. Um, is that a door here? That we can, oh, no, this is the door up. Or can we go here? I don't know if we can go down here. Look at all this stuff we can go to here. But we go, oh, I see we can't do anything here. Or we can go under here. Oh my goodness. Seems like there's so much we can do here. I thought these red buttons I could turn the conveyor belt off, but I've, apparently that's bad if I did that. So, But now there's like two doors I can go through. But uh, we got a mid tonic there. I'm not gonna, those treasure chests are easier to see. Uh, there's a couple chests there. Mid ether, and I, I guess do I have to battle you for it? It's, it's empty. No, I want I want this one. 400 G. Okay, that's good. I, I don't know why. Or these things like, oh, they're like being made or something. I, okay, I see that's what this factory's all about. They're making these guys. That would make sense. Um, okay, so there's a couple treasure chests in there, and I guess we'll pop in here. These ones are already being made, I guess. They, they, they've been already made, and they're ready to, they're ready to go after us, I guess. Yikes! Okay, that's, I'm not even gonna, oh, well, there's a critical hit, that, look at that, that's 87 and an 88 or something, that still didn't quite kill, that's like 175 damage, so, what, it's still not going down, these guys got a, these guys are like buffs here, they got a lot of health, must have a weakness of some sort. Uh, but uh, that's not a big deal. They're pretty slow, so... I guess that's the whole point. They're like, you know, it's like a tank as in Pokemon, you know, like a Pokemon that's got high attack and high, you know, not really high high HP, high attack, but it's quite slow. You know, you're not gonna have something that's superior in all stats. And it's so, it's opening up. What is it doing there? 42 damage! My goodness. These things are quite, quite tough. And so much for saying they're slow, because that's twice they've attacked now. Uh, I guess they're just really hard enemies. Um, can't underestimate those Proto 3s. The Proto 2s weren't so bad, but. Uh, oh, there's a couple. Oh, we're having like a double battle here, back to backs. Uh, and, and these debugger things, they're a lot harder than the, the normal buggers. <laughs> if they were. Yeah, these things are a little more powerful, but. This Robo guy's pretty good, so uh, I'm glad we have him around rather than Luca, to be honest with you. 
Um, and I'm glad I kept my Marl. And that's probably the one I want because he's got the, the healing and stuff. You got a shelter in there, an ether. I haven't seen a save point for a while. I don't know if one's coming up. To use the crane, enter any two of these letters A, B, X, Y after beep. Enter any two of these letters, A, B, X, Y, after the B. No, I, I don't know what... Well, what do I gotta do? I, uh, to use the crane, and to enter any two of these letters, A, B, X, Y, after the B. Okay, so that's A, A, and I, I did it incorrect. A, B, X. Is there like a certain code I have to put in? There must be like a special code or something. You enter any two of these letters. A, B, X, Y after the beep. Okay, yeah, I tried A, 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 B, A, Y, A, X. I tried B, A. Doesn't work. Well, B, B. B, B worked, okay. Oh, is it gonna... Remove these barrels? Is that, is that what is that what it's gonna do? Oh, I see. Oh, okay, and that puts it on the conveyor belt. Okay. Well, that's clever. It's a wireless too. Look at that. It doesn't even have any cords or. It's just floating in the air. Okay. Well, let's keep going here. Use the crane enter. Well, I just can't use it. I don't know any of the other buttons. I think there must be other buttons to. Um. Uh, this is weird. I, I don't understand. How I'm supposed to get that other barrel? I gotta. Must be a certain combination you have to put in. I'm trying all the combinations of these four buttons. There we go. Okay, and I guess that helps us move around a bit more in there. Maybe we, that shuts off the conveyor belt, which is apparently a bad thing. I don't know. Um, it's very easy to not know what's going on. Uh, we're going to have to fight those enemies as we head back now. Unfortunately, I, and I might use rocket roll. That was a cool attack. I like that. Let's try it out. Well, that's the thing, though. It doesn't seem to, like, really cost a lot of MP to use these things. and So I might as well take advantage of it, of it you know, I don't want to have to use those ethers if I don't have to. And Marl still got like 29, and she'll be doing a lot of the healing, so... Uh, oh, geez, these guys are persistent too, though. The, yeah, these so much for saying these guys are the slow tanks, because they attack pretty often as well. They're uh, pretty tough to knock down. Uh, that only at 12, though. Yeah, that's not too bad. Some of their attacks, I guess, are, are do more than others. There's a critical hit, though. 158, that's a little more than they're doing. Um, and, oh, right, we got to do this this again, too. Okay. Forgot about that for, for a second. Um, but, yeah, these guys aren't near as bad. This hasn't even had a chance to attack, because I got another critical hit there. Good job, Robo! And that's two tech points, 100 gold, and, well, he leveled up for that die. I would hope so. You know, all those critical hits, he's now level 11. His power up all the way to 23. That's pretty good stuff. I see. Well, your power does go up by quite a bit. Max 400. I don't know why I say Mac. Uh, that's because I think that's what I called him in Final Fantasy. But my old, because I was Mactacular in my old profile, so I just had this weird habit of saying Mac. Um... Ah, you know, it's probably better to use, uh, to use Aura in this case. Uh, you can use a bit of a touch-up as well as yourself there, Marl. Uh, no, that should, that, that should be plenty. It, it only costs one MP. I'm, I'm amazed how little that, that uses up. Uh, let's head back down here and see what this does.
this little switch. Can I get? Oh, I can't get up there. Can I? No. Okay. Well, I can. I can move along. Along here. Oh, there's a door up here. I don't know what's over on this side. Moved a barrel that was over here. And we got a door there. It looks like. appear to be anything in there. Wow, there's a secret treasure in there. Okay, a mid ether. Okay. Somehow found that. Um, and there's some stuff down here. This looks like where we came off, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's the elevator. Okay, well, this is where we came off, right? And that was the... Con yeah, okay. That's where I got on. Okay, so that's just sort of circles around. Um... Uh, and, um, then we were through that door already. Or we want to go over here into this door. Okay, and, uh, it's looking like be something important in here. Bolt sword. This looks interesting. Uh, that would be for you, eh? And that goes up 43. I like that. That's, that's nice. It's nice stuff. And what this computer is, just the, the switch thing for us. Blast defense lock. Code named Zabby. Translation X A B Y. Well, Zabby. Well, that, that, that makes sense. That's X A B Y Zabby. That's easy to remember. So, what do I got to do with that? Well, it's going to tell me again. Yeah. Zabby. Well, where do I put that in, though? That, that would be the nice thing to know. Not on that crane thing. I, I don't know where I'd put that in. Um, maybe back at the start. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it must be back at, uh, at the start. There was what was in here. Oh, there's a computer screen in here too as well. I didn't notice that before. Um, crane control. Oh, you're kidding me. Ugh. No! Oh, and these things come out. Okay, but there's the crane. Oh, I figured out the combinations on my own, I guess. <laughs> oh, that, I can't believe I, I was a little late on that. But, um, <laughs> uh, I didn't realize there's a computer screen there. I didn't realize you could sort of just access them all like that. But oh well, I got the crane controls on my own. Uh, I eventually picked the right buttons, I guess. <laughs> feel like an idiot now, but if, I mean, what do you, how would I know, right? I'm just, just sorry, I'm going to take a sip of my drink here, because my voice is starting to go on me. I'm actually surprised it's held up this far, to be honest with you, my voice. It's been in a, in a good solid hour that I've been recording. Um, what are we at here, HP-wise? Marl, I'll just use a tonic on you there. That'll be good. What do we even have here? It looks like I have a whole bunch of junk in here. But, oh, I see, like, things like the gate key, nothing I can do with that. The pendant, that for some reason, I don't know. But, like, weapons, we got bronze bow. Ah, I don't even know if any of this stuff's good. This berserker's not good. The sight scope, yeah, I know that she shows the enemy's HP. Like, do you have what's this defender do? Increases stamina. I don't know what stamina does, but and lowers defense as well. Uh, shows the enemy's HP. Marl, what do you really? What's this ribbon? What does he do for you? Well, increases your power and your hit. Okay, and for shy, the power glove. That's the same sort of thing. I don't really think showing HP is very necessary, but I was just curious to see some of this other stuff we have. Uh, like for you, I don't have anything for you that's any good. The bronze bow, that's not even close to as good. All that stuff I have is junk, then. That, that's good to know. So I'll head out the back here, I guess. Oh no, that's where I was. That's way back there. I don't need to be there going there. I can go... Uh, it's hard to navigate. Like, which place is actually lets it go here? Or there, that's where I want to go. Um, I guess I'll go back up the elevator. Um, 
Yeah, I guess that's it. Maybe I just have to go back. But no, because I've turned some generator on. Um, guess I'll fight these guys again. I guess maybe I gotta use that code in the other elevator now or something. I, I don't know. I would assume something like that. <laughs> Man, you know, I thought I'll do a blind run. I've seen a couple blind runs on YouTube. Well, you know, they can't be that bad. I mean, and I always, you know, look, sometimes they're doing some really stupid things. Like, oh, what are they doing? Like, they gotta be smarter than that. But then, here I am, being like, such an idiot, not knowing what to do. At first, I thought those thieves, like, I was actually stealing things from them. It's like, no, that's not the case. Um, so, I don't know what's down here, but I would say, I would suggest, you know, they have both the points here that you know, they both be here for you. It's been a long time since I have saved. You can see that over an hour of game time, so that's nice. And we got some... Oh dear, that's bad because... I don't... <laughs> like, these things... Alkaline, okay. Like, I don't know, like... We do a little bit of damage to these guys, but not a whole lot. I don't know how to... I can't really use magic. I do have a magic, actually. I have this... Something with you two, I think. Um, or a beam. Oh, no, that's the same thing. I wonder if this rocket roll does anything. I, I doubt it, but it looks kind of like it's a magic, a special sort of attack. No? Okay. Chemically fuse with other enemies. What the heck? See, this is really annoying when I don't have the fire attacks of those others. That's really annoying, actually. We only do five to that. Okay. Five. Okay, that's like that's not too bad still. I mean, takes a couple turns to knock him. One turn there. Nah, it's not too bad. A 123 experience for that, which is also not bad. I don't know this computer's going on. I bet you that's where the code I gotta put in. I'm getting pretty close to level ups here as well again. It's, what does this say? Open hatch. Oh, oh, I see down here. Okay. Oh dear. Looks like we got some some more of these prototype things and just one alkaline. Okay, that can't be too bad, can it? Yeah, look at that. See, what's the point of having to use magic on that if I can get it down in one hit, anyways? Jeez. Um, geez, there. I don't know who's running this factory. Like, <laughs> that, would, that would be something to know. Like, who's just secretly making all these robots? Three damage. <laughs> See how much these actually can withstand. I did seven. I don't know how. The, sometimes they do one. Sometimes they do more than one. It's, uh, I don't know. I'll decide how much damage I'll do later, I guess. <laughs> and, uh, well, we got quite a few of them here, actually. I like the names of these little acid guys, though. I, <laughs> alkaline, it's kind of a, you know, like an alkaline, like in the periodic table of my chemistry days serve my, my memory of my chemistry days serve me correctly. Oh, we just apparently slashed our sword and hit a guy halfway across the screen. I don't know how that happened. Um, yeah, this isn't, like, overly bad. They're not like they're big threats, like they do a lot of damage or anything. But we're almost out of MP, and that also worries me. Because I really don't want to use ethers unless I have to. I should, what I should have did is I should have uh, that save point. I should have used like a, a tent or something. Probably what I should have did. Like Marl still has lots as far as healing and stuff goes. And it's just the uh, uh, robo with that spin attack, which I kind of overuse there, I will admit there. Unless Robo is getting close to a level up. 310, yeah, that's relatively close. He might get some more then. So I can't pass there, a little like a laser level thing. More lasers here, that is curious. Um, and a hammer arm, that sounds like it's for Robo. And, oh yeah, that increases by 3. I like how the here it's a sword and it's a bow, but he's like got a wrench. <laughs> it's just like so specific for him. What's this computer say? Um, 
He's dancing. Oh, is this the big one? He just... It shuts the lasers off. All systems down, the fence lasers are off. But, I guess that means we gotta pay the price for doing that, right? Now let's get rid of the alkaline. Because I think when the all f different ones fuse and stuff, they were kind of doing damage and wrecking havoc. I remember there was like the men of the chemicals fusing together or something. I mean, alkaline is a chemical acid. That's acid's not the most... Uh, if I'm honest, it's not the most uh, specific or unique name, but alkaline. I, I like the name of that, alkaline. What are some of the other ones? There's like noble gases, but you're not going to call a guy noble. You just think he's like a, you know, a noble gentleman or something. But, like, I can't even remember what else there is. Uh, alkaline metals, there's... <laughs> That's how good I am, those families. Well, there's columns and there's families or something. I don't know how it works. Depends on how many electrons are in their outer ring or... Uh, Goodness, thank God, I'm done with chemistry, that's all I can say. For now, anyways, I... <laughs> hopefully I don't really have to do any of that stuff. I, I don't, you know... Not really too sure what I'm going to do after high school yet. I kind of want to be a teacher, but I, I don't know. These, these things just don't do anything. They look like they should do something, but... A Titan vest, that sounds like it's for you as well, sir. But it's... Oh, we already have it. Well, then what's the point of that? That's not a door. Oh, I see. Oh, that's right. There's a laser back here. That, how are we doing for health, too? Uh, not bad. I might use some tonics. I got so many of them, I feel... Maybe I'll just use tonics instead. You can use another one. And you'll use one like that. I feel like I should. They're so cheap, too. I mean, I got lots of gold building up here, 6,500, but you never know when you might need a big guy. I should have more, but I kept the up. Oh, we can go up or down. I wasn't even paying attention. Let's, let's try up. Oh, this takes me back, back here to the save point. Okay. Well, I'm going to use one of these shelters, because I have five. So let's do that. Okay, and then I believe... Well, we can go up from there, too. Well, wait a second. That, that has to be a different room, because... Before, we were over there. Although, it sure looks like the same room. Well, let's try up again. Let's see. This looks like we could go up yet again from there. So, I, I don't know. It's starting to be non-linear again. Yes, yeah, we were through there already. There's an open treasure chest, so I don't know how that ends up going to the same place. And then if we go up again, we end up here. I don't know how all these... There's no way all these elevators are all connected. Oh no, right, we were here. But then, it just never allowed us to go down again. Oh, I see. That's okay. Okay, well then, yeah, that makes, that does make, actually make sense now. Just, we had to go and open that hatch before. Now we're way at the bottom. And I would say this looks like, the way this sort of general, that path looks, looks like it's a boss, kind of. Oh, and there's a, another path down there. I didn't know to see that. But it looks like this is kind of like a boss. This would be a kind of an area for a boss battle. I guess I'm wrong. There's a treasure chest here. A plasma gun! That looks, sounds like it's for this robo as well, but it's not. It's for... Oh, wait, oh it's for uh, Luca. That's okay. And uh, do you... Do I give you the final code now, or what? Uh, enter password Zabby. Okay. X-A-B-Y. Zabby. And this really looks like a boss fight is coming up.